Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, where I'm continuing to bring you the World Puzzle Federation series. This one from 2015, Round 5, which was created by Serbia, and these classic Sudokus were created specifically by Nikola Zvanovic. Now, this is a 30-point classic Sudoku, so a little bit harder than the previous one. Um, I don't know what I'm in for. Um, I've already, in previous uh, the previous two videos, gone through how the point system works. So let's just get straight into the rules. I've covered those as well, but let's cover that in every uh, video. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer, um, though I... Not really trying for a time. Let's give this a shot. One and one are looking into box one, saying they can't be in any of those cells. So one is in one of those two. Two and two looking into box two, saying two is in one of those two. Um, yeah, okay, here's this trick again. Because of this C shape, They've again, they've put C3 into the puzzle because this is the third classic. I think the one was in here just to make it solvable maybe, but the four and the eight are meaning that the four and the eight can't go in any of those. So the four has to go in one of those two. Now the eight has to go into one of those. Now I'm not going to pencil mark eight into three places, but it does mean eight is in one of those two. But the six and the six are lining up, putting six in one of those two. The six is looking across saying the six isn't there, so this is the six. The seven and the seven are looking up saying that the seven is in one of those two. Okay, can I do further? I've got a six. Can I go further with sixes? Six is in one of those two. Ah, but I can resolve that because of this six. This six is looking across saying six isn't there. This six is looking up saying six isn't in those. So six is in one of those two. And this pointing pair of sixes is looking up saying sixes can't be there. And this has to be a six. And now in box five, six is in one of those. And there, this is a pattern of sixes. So it'll either be those two or those two. Okay. One is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. Ooh, this one is a little bit more tricky, isn't it? Five can't be in any of those or that one. So fives go into one of those two. Seven is in one of those three. I don't like to pencil mark into three slots if I can avoid it. This is, sees a lot of pencil marks. This can't be one, two, three, four. It could be five. It can't be six, seven, or eight. So this is only five or nine. Maybe I should be looking at this row. I need to put five, seven, eight, and nine. And this can't be five or seven. So this is only eight or nine. This can't be five or eight, so this is only seven or nine, and that could be any of them. No, it can't. This is cool. Look at this. Eight can't be in any of those cells. So eight in this box lines up with where the fives are. This is a five-eight pair, because... This is the only place that these boxes... Now, other digits can go in those, except for the place, the fact that 5 and 8 only have those two places they can go in that box. So if I was to put another digit into those cells, I couldn't then place both 5 and 8 in this box. So this is a 5-8 pair, which means this is a 5-8-9 triple, and that becomes a 7, putting 7 in one of those two. This is now a triple, 2-4-9. Well, there's no two there. There's no nine there. So if those are two, four, nine, these are one, five, uh, one, five, seven, and eight. And this can't be one, five, or eight. So that's a seven. And the, well, that means that's not a seven. And that is a seven. And these are one, five, eight. And this is a 1589. Of course, the 7 took a pencil mark of a 3. This is now a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9. Not resolved, unfortunately. That can't be an 8. 
So this is a triple. Two, three, nine. Well, there's no three there. So three is in one of those two. There's no nine there. Eight is in one of these two. Not sure that's helping me much. Is it this row where I've also got limited down to four? Four, five, seven, and nine. So seven is in one of those two. Well, this can't be four or seven. So this is five or nine. This is, f ah, and this is five or nine, because this is four, five, seven, or nine. I can't put four in either of those, and I can't put seven in either of those. So this is a four, seven pair. Not seeing how to resolve that, but this is now a five, nine pair. Giving me a five, nine pair in the column. I'm not sure, but what's this triple? One, two, four. There's no one there. Well, there's no two in either of those. That's the two, that's the four, that's the one. Which means this isn't the one, that's the one. Hang on. Oh, the five, that's been an eight, that's a nine, that's a five. Looking across making that an eight and that a five. Okay, that's some progress. Is it good progress? I don't know. The five is looking down, making that the nine and that the five. And now I've got these triples. One, four, eight. There's no one there. There's no four there. Okay. These are two, three, nine. There's no three in the middle. That has not been particularly fruitful. I am feeling without fruit. Ah, but the two here is looking across, making that the three. So this is not the three. So, uh, no, that's not helped. But this is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But the four, seven makes that the five and that the four. And now this is a triple. Three, five, eight. There's no eight there, which matches up. There's no three or five there. That is the eight, and this is a three, five pair. But that means this is two or nine, and the two is looking down, making that the nine and that the two. The nine looks up, making that the four and that the nine. The four looks down, making that the seven and that the four. And now this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, one and eight. Don't know how to resolve that yet. The two looks up, making that the nine, looking across, making that the two, taking two out of those. This is a triple. Two, six, seven. The two and the six already in row five, make that the seven, and I can take the seven out of there. Two and six. I don't know. This is a one, eight pair though. Interestingly enough, ah, four looking up makes that the nine, taking nine out of there. Okay, so I need to put two, four, six, and seven. So this can't be two, six, or seven. So that's the four, which makes that the two and that the four. This now becomes six and seven, and I have to put the seven there by pencil marks, which means this is the six by pencil marks. Now, does that look in any direction? Yes, the six makes that the two and that the six. Now in this row, the four makes that the eight, which makes that the one and that the four. The one looks across making that the eight and that the one. So let's look at this, one, two, three, four, five, which looks down making that the three and that the five. Let's look at these columns. I need to put two, 
a nine in and the two makes that the nine and that the two. The nine looks across making that the three and that the nine. And in this box, the digits I haven't placed are three and eight. And I'll use that eight to make that the three and that the eight. And that's the correct solution to the puzzle. Nine minutes and 13 seconds. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, these, are, these have been good so far. I'm enjoying these classics. Sure, it's going to ramp up. And at some point I'll have to ask for help. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. The important thing for me is presenting the puzzle in a good, clean way rather than showing off my skills because this is my skills. Why would I show them off? Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.